15.4a, Rational Exponents, Convert. Remember, we were always dividing the exponent by the index. And if we divide the exponent by the index, we would get a to the m divided by n. This means that the index is actually the denominator. So let's see how this applies in example one. We can rewrite this as m five divided by seven. Remember, it is exponent over the index. Let's look at another example. In example two, it asks us to go the other way and write this as a radical. To write this as a radical, remember, the denominator is the index. This means that I have a cubed root of AB that is being squared. Let's look at another example. Here it asks us to write it as a radical once again. Once again, the denominator is the index. This means we have the fifth root. Now, we would have the fifth root of x to the negative four. But remember, we don't have negative exponents. So actually, this would be the fifth root of x to the fourth in the denominator. This is the more correct way to write this. A way to remember how to quickly do this is at the beginning, if you see a negative, you simply write it one over x to the four-fifths, and then you proceed to convert it, which gives you one over the fifth root of x to the fourth. Let's look at example four. Here's example four we need to write this as an exponent. So let's start by first moving this to the numerator, giving us the cubed root of five x to the negative two. Because remember, if you move something to the numerator, it becomes a negative exponent. Now that we have this, remember that the index actually comes over here to become our denominator, giving us five x to the negative two-thirds. This is our final answer. Remember that when we are converting between writing them as radicals and writing them as exponents, that the denominator shows us the index. Also, you will have to remember about negative exponents. If the number is in the numerator and it is negative, you move it to the denominator. 